Recap in minutes. In today's video, we will be enjoying an action thriller film, entitled American Renegades. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The movie begins in August 1944. The German military has chosen to move the priceless artwork and over 25 tons of gold ingots they stole from Paris. After being secured in the bank vault, the gold is taken to the nearby town of Bosensko Grahovo. The entire town is rounded up by German soldiers, but one young boy manages to get away. His mother is captured by the Germans, and they are captured together with the entire neighborhood. In 1995 in Sarajevo, two US sergeants named Staten and Kurt posing as journalists enter the town to capture General Milic. They are asked by the Serbian military forces to take off their clothes as part of precautionary measures before entering the town. Later, the Serbian forces did not find anything suspicious, so they were asked to get dressed and brought to the general's office. Both are highly guarded on their way to the office. Meanwhile, a squad of US Navy SEALs hiding under the water is bound to enter the blind spot area of the building where the general's office at. A Marine named Jack is assigned to unlock the gates while Ben and Matt are on the lookout. Jack successfully unlocks the gate using a torch and enters the premises. On the other hand, Kurt and Staten set up their equipment for an interview with General Milic inside his office. They are bound to capture Serb General Milic, who is responsible for numerous atrocities. The US Navy officers are setting up the bomb underneath the General's office. Then, the two disguised journalists start the interview with General Milic. However, little does the General know. He is about to be assassinated. Kurt acts that the battery is not functioning, so he acts changing the battery in the general's behind and suddenly grabs a sharp object and stabs the general's neck before he can react, while Staten grabs a knife he hides from the camera. The squad is able to escape from the back door, but unfortunately, a boat from the river is guarding the building, and they hide immediately. They count to shoot all the Serbian forces, but an RPG is coming to bomb their location, making disguised journalists almost fall from the stairs. They make their way to the garage where the tanks and military vehicles are stored. The squad is making their way to escape from the building while they are being chased by a lot of Serbian forces. It is Matt's first time driving and operating a battle tank, so he doesn't care who he runs through along the way to escape. Upon reaching the bridge, another tank is guarding its way also from behind. They left out of no choice but to jump from the bridge. Matt orders Jack to bomb the bridge at 10 o'clock and jumps off the bridge submerging the battle tank. The guard fire upon them and the squad prepare their equipment to dive and escape underwater. They bring along with them the general, who is securely sealed in a body covered with oxygen. The Serbian forces from the river receive an order that the US Navy is underwater, so they search for them. Luckily, the squad successfully escapes to the Serbian forces. Back in the operating base in Bosnia, Herzegovina, the squad arrives with the general still alive using a truck full of chickens. Commander Levin is shocked to see the squad. He reprimands the squad in his office for the commotion they have made. Commander Levin instructs the squad to perform the operation without any trace. However, Matt created a scandalous attack with the enemies wrecking almost half of Sarajevo. With this, the squad is given a three-day leave for their action. Commander Levin gives the team a bottle of whiskeys to celebrate, and he highly instructs them to keep the liquors discreetly. Then, they got dismissed. Later that night, the squad celebrates the success of their mission in a nearby pub, where they meet the waitress named Lara. Ben is eyeing her, but unfortunately, Lara doesn't like her. The squad laughs at Ben. After the celebration, Staten, one of the US Navy, has a romantic relationship with the waitress and goes to her place. Then, they enjoy the night by making love. Staten offers to bring Lara back to his home country, but she declines as she is raising a foundation to restore her country. Not long after that, Lara's brother Malenko brings in a group of goons who demand something from her. Fortunately, the leader of the squad, Matt Barnes, arrives just in time to fend off the thugs. Lara then chooses to confess that the bad guys are seeking the gold ingot she is keeping, which is valued at around $150,000. Lara reveals to Stanton her gold ingot gathering location. Her grandfather was the sole survivor of the Grahovo massacre of residents, and his village is now submerged beneath the river where she currently resides. A survivor from when the Germans occupied her grandfather's village concealed a gold ingot before being discovered by the partisans, who blew up the dam and drowned the town in retaliation for the German atrocities. Lara continues by saying that the river holds enough gold ingots to aid the victims of the ongoing war in her country. Her grandfather often relates this story, but no one believes him unless they witness it for themselves, like Lara has. For this reason, Lara enlists Stanton's assistance in submerging the gold ingots. Later, 
Staten showed his squad the gold ingot. They got an estimate of $300 million worth of gold bars to be extracted. Lara arrives while the squad is talking about the golds. Ben and the rest of the squads are shocked to see her. Matt, on the other hand, is not surprised. Lara then explains to the squad the story that she got from her grandfather and how useful these gold bars can help her country. Lara asks Matt and his squad to help her retrieve the 2,000 gold bars under the water and gets a 50-50 share from that. Matt tries to negotiate to split it into six ways, but Lara is determined to give only half of his squad, and the rest are for Lara's country. Back in the base, Matt and his squad are discussing the impossible mission. Staten suggests that nothing could go wrong if they try since they have been in that country for six months already. Meanwhile, General Milic's Serbian forces are looking after them. The following day, Staten and the squad are discussing their mission. They plan several days to perfectly pull the mission without any hindrance. Matt uses his authority power to gather some materials and vehicles within the military base camp, and then they carry them with Lara's presence to the lake, which is located deep into the region controlled by the enemy. Upon reaching the docking area, enemies are roving the area. Matt and Lara are almost caught. Then, Staten and Matt drop Lara at her house. She is shocked when her drawer is open, and the gold ingot she is keeping from her brother is gone. The squad has figured out that the enemies are roaming around every 35 minutes on that lake to check. Matt suggests if the mission fails, they will withdraw from it. The next problem they have is how they can lift the gold out from the water to the ground. Jack has a brilliant idea. He uses his friend, who is a helicopter pilot from the base camp. However, they run a certain problem. A jet plane carrying a missile is also guarding the area. Jack and his fellow soldiers got almost killed. Meanwhile, the thugs led by Lara's brother present the gold they stole from Lara's apartment to the local commander of the Serbian soldiers, who chooses to stop the US Navy SEAL squad. On the other hand, Matt and his squad are called to Commander Levin's office. Levin delivers the good news to the squad that the heroic mission from General Milic's retrieval is recognized by General Tobias. This means Serbian forces are eager to hunt down the five members of the squad. Commander Levin delivers a message that he received an order for the squad to be redeployed far from the current base camp. Especially for the squad's safety. Matt highly disagrees with this and convinces Commander Levin that their mission is still not over and they are a great asset to the base camp and future missions. Unfortunately, Commander Levin has no power to agree with Matt's suggestion and only follows direct orders from the general. This means they will be reassigned within 36 hours, and a military plane will take them to another camp. Then, they got dismissed, leaving the squad's face disappointed. Later that night, the squad starts packing their things in preparation for their redeployment. Stanton informs Lara about the bad news. Meanwhile, Jack and Kurt pick up a fight with their fellow soldiers inside the base camp while Matt and Ben are having a drink. Suddenly, Ben has a smart idea and figures out how they can lift the golds as fast as they can. Without any further ado, Matt calls Stanton, who is in Lara's flat, to proceed with their mission on that same night. They have only 8 hours before sunrise to lift all the golds. Lara brings the diving equipment to the lake while the squad prepares the vehicle and the aircraft they will use in the transportation. Using a C-130 aircraft, they are illegally being transported to the lake together with the equipment they have prepared. They start pumping out the water underneath the sunken church for easier retrieval of gold. On the other hand, the Serbian force local commander locates Lara's apartment with the help of a goon. The local commander sees some pieces of evidence and a map of where the squad's mission is located. Also, Commander Levin is looking for Matt and his squad, but they are nowhere to be found. A soldier has reported that someone has seen them leaving the premises of the base camp. The Serbian forces started searching for the US Navy SEAL squad in the lake. Back at the camp, two pilots that Jack had spoken few days before their mission has been reprimanded in Commander Levin's office. He is asking where Matt and his team are, but he keeps his mouth shut not until Commander Levin orders a discharged paper for the pilot named Lt. Riley. When the US Navy SEAL team finally creates the air pocket within the church and breaks into the vault, they find just 10 gold ingots instead of the 2,000 that Lara has said were there. Nonetheless, they discover the rest of the gold through a concealed passageway in a wall. While the local commander and the Serbian soldiers watch the money floating up in the river, Matt and his squad begin transporting all the gold bars to a net that will raise the ingots up to the ground, giving the Serbians and the locals a sign as to where Matt and his crew are hiding. Underneath, Serbian soldiers discovered the US Navy SEAL team and attempted murder. However, they have firearms and can easily kill Serbian soldiers, and the local commander has dropped a bomb on their position from above. They're still dropping grenades, and the old church is crumbling. 
Matt is nearly smothered to death by falling stones as he searches for additional oxygen to help raise the air pocket. They use a cargo parachute packed with air to bring the gold to the surface. All of them are about to die because Serbian soldiers have loaded an RPG to murder them. After successfully fending off the opposing forces, the gold is securely transported to the base via helicopter. The movie ends with Lara, together with the US Navy SEAL team is being honored for completing this seemingly impossible operation. After that, they send half of the gold back to France and sell the other half to split the proceeds among the team members, with Lara getting the greater share. The group, however, votes to give Lara their shares and then heads to the pub. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and help the channel grow.